Hello, I'm Judy Vitale, your astrologer with ReadTheStars.com. Here is your weekly horoscopes at work forecast for April 11th through 17th, 2016. The biggest news this week, folks, Mars about to go retrograde. This means that from where we're sitting here on Earth, it's going to look like Mars is moving backwards. So action, anything that has to do with assertion, issues that cause um, a little bit of conflict in your life will probably be stirred up during this time period. And this time period is going to extend from this coming Sunday, the 17th, until the very end of June. So um, be on the lookout for those things that you thought were settled that kind of come back up and um, ask you for another opportunity or offer you another opportunity to assert yourself. Because it's in um, Sagittarius going back into Scorpio, Mars will be especially powerful during this retrograde period. It's not a great time um, to put things out there in the world. I know um, I've been thinking about doing something and now I'm rethinking it looking at this. But um, if you really want to have a closer consultation on this topic, you know where to find me. Judy, J-U-D-I at ReadTheStars.com. Now I'm going to go through this um, day by day for the week. And beginning on Monday, we have the moon in Gemini. So speak, speak, contact, call, send emails, get out there. The Gemini moon always facilitates communication, and Monday will be a day like that. However, the moon will go void, of course. A void, of course, moon is a time when you can expect the unexpected to occur. It is not a good time to make major purchases, have big meetings, make any kind of decision, because situations will change after the moon void, of course, period is over. The period ends at 4.07 a.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday when the moon goes into the sign of Cancer. So on Tuesday and for part of Wednesday, we're going to be feeling very nurturing and also very babyish. Um, cancer has that, that flip side to it. And um, the Cancer in us all, the, the sign of Cancer in us all, is going to want to be loved. On Tuesday, we have Venus trine Mars, which is excellent for all kinds of relationships, but also a little bit of Mercury sextile Neptune. We're going to want to believe things that perhaps aren't true. Um, you might want to wait until Thursday or Friday before making any big decisions about um, relationships of all different kinds. Wednesday, as I said, we have the moon in Cancer until 11.59 p.m., so that's all day. And, um, you know, we'll have a feeling of wanting to nurture ourselves and to nurture others as well. Thursday, the moon will move into Leo at 9.53 a.m. Start your day off slowly on Thursday if you live on the East Coast. And then be prepared for a couple of days of people really acting out of a sense of pride, but also having the ability to draw the best out of others. So if you have a leadership situation that you're engaged in, Thursday and Friday are good days for you to make your mark. Saturday... We have um, the moon void, of course, in the morning, and then it will go into the sign of Virgo. This is the organizer sign. This is the time when we really want to, you know, get things ready for spring. It will come eventually. Gosh, I hope so. It has been merciless in terms of the cold weather hanging around, but maybe it will get better. And then on Sunday, we also have um, the moon in Virgo. But we will also have uh, Mercury in a trine to Pluto, which is good. And then, of course, the Mars retrograde. Ugh. This is going to um, bring about some, some really heavy feelings. So um, be on the lookout for it. And again, if you would like to meet up with me for a consultation, I'll be at Journeys of Life. Um, this week, only on Sunday, April the 10th, I'm going out to Michigan for the Great Lakes Astrology Conference. I'll be there uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, next weekend. And then I'll be back in town and I'll tell you uh, where you can find me. You can always check my website. The events page will tell you where I'll be showing up and available to you. And you can always, always, always find me at Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.